Hi friends, it's TV Tuesday. TV Tuesday? Is today Tuesday? Yeah, I know I'm long overdue, but I figured it was time to finally start the boys. I've heard some interesting things. I'm intrigued. I'm excited. Let's just hop into it. Superheroes! Translucent could kick the deep side. How? He's invisible. That's like all he's got. Are they talking about a movie or real superheroes? Real superheroes. <laughs> That's cool. That's super cool. <laughs> mm, it's not working, sir. Boys okay? Can I get a selfie? Of course you can. Okay, but prediction. He can't be good, right? The shot lingered on his face too long for him to be an actually good guy. Ooh, is this one of our main boys? A non-superhero? Stereo, so you can put it all around your living room, have some fun with it. Okay, he's adorable. Hey, Gary. Um, <laughs> so awkward. Okay, cool. I love him. I'd like to make an appointment for you to come over and lay some cable. Ooh. Oh, dear, dear, Rob. Mm. That doesn't mean what you think it means. Uh. Laying pipe means sex. I love that instead of just hopping on the train of like, ooh, yes, sex, he was like, but I'm, I'm going to correct you first, though, because he's a little nerdy boy, and I love it. And I love that he's in a relationship. Most shows don't start out that way. Did you ask Gary for the raise? Tomorrow, for sure. So he's disappointingly weak-willed. This is about you getting what you deserve. Oh, they're so cute. I can't stop. 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 I need a second to process. <laughs> Very clever because we're on the same wavelength. The shock that he was just going through is is resonating deep within my soul because I do not understand what I just watched. <laughs> but I do. Hard fact, she just... She just became goo because of a superhero. I could never. <laughs> There's gotta be something better to punch than your own building, right? I am Starlight. Is this like a casting call for superheroes? I mean, why would you get into this business if not to save the world? I love this shot. The shot itself is not glamorized whatsoever, and I'm not sure how glamorized her own answer is, or if she's being disingenuous, like a very sort of pageanty answer to get her through whatever casting call thing this is. Also, I think it's a foil probably to our current superheroes that I don't, we don't know yet, but like the one, the guy that we saw, the golden boy guy, I don't think he's a good person. <laughs> just a guess. And then obviously the fast man just blew that girl to smithereens on the sidewalk. So we don't know how great he could possibly be. And so if her real opinion is wanting to create a good world and having hope for that, then it's like a direct foil to what I think. I'm currently thinking of the other superheroes. <sighs> he looks a lot like Bill Hader. Like a mix of Bill Hader and Michael Shannon. Do you see it? <laughs> My deepest condolences to Robin Ward's family. She was a half step off the fucking curb. Don't get upset. I think he probably has every right to be upset. Hello. I got it. You got it! That was a hard transition, like that absolute joy to this oppression and devastation. Maybe we can file a wrongful death. You want to make this right. Oh, but he's good. There's a but. But you can't. Mm-hmm. Wow, Dad. You can't do this. Don't have the fight. You never have. Oh, no. That's harsh, Dad. Now is maybe not the moment. <laughs> and back to celebration. Are all these people here for me? Who else would they be here for? Oh. It is without a doubt a good time to be in the superhero business. And this fall, we break ground on our newest theme park. 
weird it's weird that they're living in a world that has superheroes with like legitimate superpowers and yet all they're doing is profiting off of it and they're making sort of like sideshow attractions things that aren't relevant to changing the world theme parks you could you could be changing the world and this goes back to starlight starbright first star i see tonight What's her name? <laughs> her interview where she really like genuinely wants to make the world a better place, but we're seeing it right here. I don't think that that's what she's actually signing up for. It's just more corporate greed bullshit. Heroes who put themselves in harm's way each and every day. But are they though? Are they really? With liberty and justice for all. That clearly isn't the case. You're already up two and a half points with Midwesterners and conservative Christians in 18 to 49 your audition it was modest it was humble really fucking smart choice oh, I, I meant it she did mean it so she's about to be thrown into a world of hurt when she realizes that that is not what this is about this is like a weird political campaign i am hooked call me hooked starlight and the deep Is she not even going to get a speaking moment? You can essentially read a getaway car's license plate from 380 miles up. If this is such an important room in which they can spot criminals from so high above and from so far away, why aren't there like literal staff in there? There's nobody there working it. Which further leads me to believe that it's all an act. It's all a cover up simply to make money. They're not out there fighting crime. Maybe they, maybe they are a little tiny bit every once in a while. So they have a moment to be in the spotlight and to like deceive people into thinking that they're out there doing real justice. If this was such an important room, it would be like fully staffed. Like the NASA rooms that we see in every movie. You know something? From my first day, I, I felt like a fraud. Imposter syndrome, baby. You want to know the truth? Uh-oh. I actually had a poster of you. <laughs> really? How dare he act like he doesn't know how gorgeous he is. Stop it. What? <laughs> You're so like beyond disrespectful right now. Like seriously. What? <laughs> And immediately, <laughs> the veil is removed. <laughs> it's just a question of how bad you want to be in the seven. Uh, kick his ass. We're just talking. That's not true. If I say so, you know, you'd be out of here. Oh, what a scumbag. Just roll with the punches for like three minutes, maybe. It's not a big deal. And then you know what happens? All your dreams come true. <laughs> No, I can only hope that in a later episode, she's going to murder him in the most tortury way possible. My skin turns into this carbon metamaterial. All right, but just to be clear, you have to be completely naked. Tell me, how many nannies shake their babies? What? <laughs> I'm trying to get ketchup. It's Bones! Love him. I heard what happened to Robin. I'm sorry, who are you? Name's Butcher. Billy Butcher. Billy Butcher. Listen, what a name. Like, you're, you're a fed? You don't sound like a fed. <laughs> look like one either. No? What do I look like? Amazing. Soups lose hundreds of people each year. That'd be all over the news. It wouldn't because it's too much money, baby. Just get swept right under the rug. Why? Ain't it obvious? A multi-billion dollar global industry. Let me be the first to say that I love Carl Urban. <laughs> Which means, indirectly, I love Billy Butcher. And this isn't his fault, but I do I do kind of hate when shows feel the necessity to, like, walk you through why things are happening. I've been commenting on this whole thing the whole time. Superheroes exist because they're a huge corporation that is making tons of money. It has nothing to do with making the world a better place. It has everything to do with money and power. <laughs> That's been made quite obvious. I don't need Billy Butcher to explain that to me. TV shows like to think that most viewers do need it, so we have this moment of, like, exposition. And it's, it's, it's just such an eye roll moment. I don't need it. I don't want it. I get it. I'm there with you. I don't like being made to feel <laughs> clueless. Listen, I think this is good. It's time to have some backbone, my guy. I don't want to go to a second location with you. <laughs> Once I go, I'm gone. Robin wanted this for you. 
Where are we? Yay. <laughs> you know what they'll do to me? They catch me letting you in. Not half of what I'll do if you don't. <laughs> I cannot believe you ran through a bitch. <laughs> Laughing. Hugh, they're bad people. I want to take a second to talk about this lighting on Hugh's face. It's very like warm yellow and blue green on the other side. And he's having this realization of corruption. But I would also like to reference back to the Deep's costume, which is literally those colors. Corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. I love her. I want to love her. Please let her be halfway good. Please, at least half. Translucent, you're a goddamn pervert. Uh, they're all like that? All of them. Even Homelander? Very good transition. She is ex thinking exactly that slash actually experiencing it while he's questioning it on the other side. Also, this show is ten times more adult than I thought it was going to be. Just FYI. <laughs> Someone's fucking hiding something. This is so small, but I want to congratulate the show really fast on having empty glassware on their table, which means that they've each had a full drink and are currently in the process of drinking their second. A lot of the times in bar setups, they just have their one glass that maybe has like a drink taken out of it, if anything at all. And it's so just unbelievable. Like, why are you hanging out there? Why do you have a drink in the first place? And then you're gonna plant a bug, a bug, a bug. See what's really going on. I can't do that. I understand that we're only, what, 30 minutes into this entire show, but if, if Hugh's reluctance to do literally anything <laughs> to make a difference, to change his own life, to get what he is looking for, if he can't get it together by the end of this episode, I will be annoyed with him. <laughs> this is amazing, Madeline. Just do not sell it online. I love her. Baltimore is a beautiful town. Cut to the chase, Madeline. Nubian Prince. Hello. <laughs> How much? 300 million a year. 200 million for Nubian Prince. That's a hundred million difference. That's a big difference. I happen to know about Compound V. I would love nothing more than for Elizabeth Shue to just wreck him and get the 300 million. We are 40 minutes into men walking all over women and I realize it's a reflection on society. Not the society we want or need. Society's issues, thank you. But boy, I would I would just love a, a glimmer of, of some lady power. But the show is called The Boys. I'm sorry, Steve. I don't know what you're talking about. 300 million is the price. Yes, yes. <gasps> Will this be the love interest? I'm sorry, are, are, are you okay? <laughs> sorry. Like, I thought I was strong, made of steel, a fighter. You are those things, do not. Just because you fall on your ass doesn't mean you have to stay there. So you fell on your ass. That's not who you are. Good job, Huey. I'm gonna take that son of a bitch's head clean off his body. Do it. Please, please do it. <laughs> okay, man. I'm in. Starlight. Don't want to be late to your first official meeting. We're beginning to wonder if you'd even show up. You know, that pressure, it's a lot for anyone to swallow. I hope, I hope, I hope with all of my hope, all of my hope, <laughs> I hope with all of my hope that she does rip his fucking head off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he looks just so small. Just to be clear, A-Train's apology isn't an admission of any sort of culpability whatsoever. Brutal. I appreciate the apology. Good job, Huey. Can I use your bathroom? Is that translucent guy gonna be in here? Was it not foreshadowing that he was in there the first time? Oh, there he is. Why are you in there? <laughs> I get why you dig this job. <laughs> what are we, uh, what are we doing here? Well, you gotta go to work, don't you? All I need you for right now. Yeah. Carl Urban, did you use him? Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. You did it. You did the thing. Now you've got a backbone. Use it. Miss Stillwell, I wasn't sure you'd call. I'm willing to come down to 230 million for Nubian Prince. And Steve, this um compound V. I'd appreciate your discretion. Have a safe flight home. What is compound V? Uh-oh. 
You think I wouldn't find this thing? Oh no. Please don't hurt Huey. Motherfucker! He came back. You should fuck off, Huey. Yes. Huey, help him. <laughs> How'd you know the electric could do the job? Saw it on uh, Jimmy Fallon. Let's get him in the boot. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Just call the fucking FBI. Technically, I'm not a fade. <laughs> Don't worry about it, kiddo. It's just a little turbulence. Is something gonna happen to their plane? She said, have a safe flight. <gasps> Is that home? He's not a good guy. I knew it. Let me just take this moment to say that I was right. <laughs> but the shock is still there. I didn't think he was good, but I did not expect him to kill a plane full of people, including a small child. But hey, Elizabeth Shue got her way and that's all I really wanted. 